Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm gonna share how to avoid blurry edges in Procreate. This is a question I get asked often and I thought it would be really quick and easy to show you on screen exactly how to avoid this and how to make sure it never happens to you again. So there are two ways to avoid blurry edges in Procreate. First of all, it's important to understand that Procreate is a pixel or raster-based program. This means that all of your artwork is made up of tiny little squares, which are called pixels. And when you scale up those pixels, if you create artwork small and you need to enlarge it for some kind of application or purpose, you are stretching those pixels. The program doesn't have that extra information for the larger size, so when you scale it up, it creates those blurry edges. Whereas a point-based program like Adobe Illustrator, it's made up of points, so you can infinitely rescale or reduce size and you never ever lose quality. That is not the case with programs that are pixel-based like Procreate or Photoshop. So whenever you're scaling artwork up, you will create those blurry edges because you're stretching the pixels. You can always reduce your artwork down. Compressing those pixels will not affect the quality in a negative way, but scaling it up always will because that information is missing. So the first way to avoid blurry edges is just creating your artwork at the largest size it'll ever be used at. If you create it at the largest size it'll be used at, then you never will have to scale it up in the future. That may not always be feasible, so the other option is to create your artwork and use it as a template if you need to scale it up in the future. And this does take a little bit extra time because you have to recreate your artwork, which is why I recommend always creating it at as large of a size as you possibly can. You can now create much larger artwork and art boards in Procreate than you ever used to before. So what I have on screen is a screen size document and you can see these blurry edges right here that I got from taking this exact heart and scaling it up over here. So you can see these jagged edges. So we're going to avoid that. So I'm going to start over so you can see exactly what I did. So first I'm using my free mono weight brush. If you click on the link in the video description you can go and pick that brush up for free. I am using just the color black so you can see everything Thing super well. So I'm going to create a tiny little heart right here and let's say that I realized that I needed it a lot larger. So I'm going to duplicate my heart so you can see. So just slide it over, choose duplicate. I'm going to zoom in and select this heart, bring it over here and scale it way up. And you can see those edges are already getting blurry. Now if I needed this heart used at this larger size, but obviously I don't want this compromised resolution right here, the appearance of these pixels, so I'm going to reduce the opacity down. So just tap on the end right here, reduce the opacity. So we're gonna use this as a template, create a brand new layer right on top of it. And now I can just use this and draw right around it so it can be the exact shape that I had before. Obviously this would be more complex artwork than a heart, um, but you get the idea. So let me fix this little piece right here. All right, and then I can just delete or turn off my pixelated heart, and now you can see it's this larger size, but the edges aren't blurry anymore. So those are your two options for avoiding blurry edges in Procreate. One last thing to mention, if you're bringing in any other graphics or textures, you want those created at the largest size that they will be used at as well, because if you scale up textures or graphics, you're also going to get those blurry edges because you're in this pixel-based environment. That's why I create all of my textures. I have a metallic and watercolor Procreate kit, and both of those are created at at least 2,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels to ensure that they can cover all common applications that a person might need within Procreate. So just a heads up about that, textures, graphics, and any artwork you create, always make sure it's as large as you think that you'll ever need to go. If you need to go larger in the future, use your original artwork as a template to recreate it later on. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com for even more iPad tutorials, lettering, and design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.